Code 3's C3 Pro consists of three main screens used for programming the bar. This tutorial will cover each individually. Open the C3 Pro software by double-clicking on the C3 Pro icon. When you open C3 Pro, this is the first screen you will see. You are given the option to create a new light bar or upload a file from a previously designed light bar. For this demonstration, we will be programming a new light bar by clicking on the New Bar button. When the Pursuit light bar was ordered, various options were available for configuration. We will first need to match the interface software to the actual purchased light bar. First, you will need to set the lens color. You can either select clear or colored lens. Also, Pursuits have the option to be customized with illuminated signage with personalized lettering and or a graphic image, such as a department logo. For this tutorial, we'll select clear lenses. Click on the button that indicates whether the bar has signage or not. Next, click on the length button and select the length of the light bar that is being programmed. Then click next. Next, the C3 Pro interface automatically loads the default light bar image shown here. We will now configure the light bar shown to match the light head colors that you selected when you purchased the bar. You can find your configuration on the Pursuit box label or the C3 View configuration drawing from your order. As you can see on the diagram, both levels of light are represented. The larger red and blue rectangles represent the light heads on the top row of the bar, and the smaller white and amber rectangles represent the lower level of light heads. Each light head is also numbered. To change the color of any light head, simply click on the light head until it matches the color of your configuration. White is designated with the black outline as shown. No outline represents a position without a light head. As you can see, as I click through various heads to change the color. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to put the bar back to the stock configuration. Once your configuration matches your order, click the next button. Now, we will start setting up the flash patterns for the Pursuit light bar. This is the screen you will use to modify the functionality of your light bar. The lower half of the screen shows a multi-column list of all the flash patterns and functionality available in the Pursuit light bar. Note that you can stretch or shrink the columns similar to how you would in a spreadsheet by grabbing this line and pulling or pushing the columns to the right or left. Let's walk through all of these columns. Demo allows you to preview selected functionality without having to load the program to the bar. The input column lists each wire combination available in the junction box. The function column provides a dropdown with all available wire uses for the input. The description column gives a brief explanation of the function column. The flash pattern column is a drop menu of all available flash patterns for each function. Action column determines the operation of the flash pattern. Lightheads part 1 and 2 is where you can assign the patterns to individual lightheads. Dim level allows you to set the level of dim for the lightheads. Now, let's walk through the programming. Click on a demo checkbox in the left hand column. The light bar image lights up to show you the flash pattern or function that you have selected. The demo button gives you the ability to preview all patterns, light heads, and the level selections before you load the software into your Pursuit light bar. You can uncheck the box to turn off the demo. As you configure your bar, you can use this feature at any time to view your functions. All combination wires function cannot be changed or progressive switch will not operate correctly. As you change the functions, you will notice the description will change as well. To change the flash pattern and rate, click on the flash pattern slash rate drop down menu and choose the desired function. Code 3 has preset numerous flash pattern options for you to choose from. The available flash patterns change depending on the selected function. Now we will move to the action column. Actions can only be used on flash patterns that do not have a default setting. Your options are independent. This is when lights start together and then they fall in and out of phase. The second option is simultaneous, meaning all light heads flash together. The last option is to alternate the flashing. As you can see, the pursuit pattern has an action already included, so you cannot change the action. But on a pattern such as quad flash 150, you can set your action. By setting up an action, now gives quad flash a full pattern. When choosing light heads that will alternate, you will need to select which light you want to alternate. You can see the color of the associated number to change from yellow to green on the screen as you select your light heads. With each input, you can select which light heads will be using the desired flash pattern. As stated before, the alternating patterns will require two sets of light heads to be selected. 
To select the lighthead, you can either type the number associated with the lighthead into the field, or you can simply click on the lighthead. When a lighthead is selected, the number will turn yellow. Don't forget you can preview selections by clicking on the demo button. Unique to the pursuit is the option to set various dim levels for the bar. You now have a two level dim option that can be applied to the lightheads for any given input or function. High dim will dim the lighthead to 50%, while low dim will dim it to 25%. If you would like to add additional functions to the same wire configuration, this can be easily done by simply right clicking on that particular line and select add additional functions. Once you have reviewed your selections, it is very important to save the program. Click on the save button and name your pursuit programming for that light bar. Consider using a name that reflects the department name, name of the light bar, type of the configuration or usage, along with a date. This allows you to retrieve and modify the program at any time. By saving the program, you can also load the program to multiple pursuit light bars at different times.